Hello everyone and welcome to a quick Force Depressions. This will be 15 minutes, so I did about 30 minutes of messing around with this game. This is a Force Person Sorcery Magic Rogue style game. It has random dungeons in it and it has lots of classes you can unlock by doing so in progression. But you basically start out with a generic apprentice female and male character. Um, it says the male character is uh, basically balanced, but it doesn't really specifically say the advantage of the female apprentice, so I don't know if she's just the same. You can change the difficulty in that. We're going to stick on normal. So, uh, similar to a rogue style game, uh, if you die, you have to start all over. So you don't get to carry over your progress, but you do get to unlock more powerful things you can find. So, let's see. Ooh, we start with some frozen magic. I haven't gotten to find frozen magic. So you got four elements, and your first one is generic. It has no real element. It's unlimited. Uh, but your other magic, if I used it, uh, it would be consumed. So, um... And you could destroy some things, and I'll show, uh... Because the first level up should, uh... Provide uh, showing uh, the point of destroying some stuff. So normally you'll go into a womb and enemies will spawn. Now my only real complaint with the combat, ooh, they have big AOE kind of thing, is that your character moves really fast, which I understand because this is essentially like a really, this is kind of like uh, if uh, Sylvia Sam was oh. That's not good. This is like if Serious Sam was a magician, basically, essentially. And the sucky thing is when you kill stuff, uh, the stuff they do drop can vanish. I don't think the experience does, but like the gems and stuff can. So most wands and magical items I see, like, as you can see, the secondary use of this one sh does like kind of a shotgun effect. And then I got like a little machine gun effect. And I'm not familiar with ice magic quite yet, so uh, I'm saving that for more of a deadly time. This is a really big womb, so this is probably going to be more minions here. Sometimes there can be uh, special little wolves that can walk against you, or sometimes in your favor. Like one time, there was one womb where there was like three times the damage. So basically, as long as you can avoid initial attacks, oh, with these hopping little fuckers. Oh. Oh no. That's fully hit. But uh yeah, this, this really reminds me of like Serious Sam where you just have all this shit trying to mortar you in these locked little wombs where you have to deal with them. Now the yellow orbs or experience why the colored ones actually fill up your elemental magic if uh, if you have the necessary magic to use it. Now, you can still fill them up. Oh, I have more little wedding little bastards. See, I got some max ice, so let's try it out. It's kind of like a short range shotgun. Okay, so we got some level up. So, oh, so they are random. So, um, let's see, increase your alchemy pool or show one more pork when leveling. Hmm. Well, to be honest, having some more options with the uh, porks could be good, so... Eh. What's the secondary? Oh! Yeah, it looks like it doesn't have a secondary. Ass thing. Eh. So it looks like the porks are random. Oddly enough, my Force 2, I've played this twice. Eh. But, uh, my porks were the same both times uh, upon my first level. Okay. So I didn't get... So what I was hoping to get is, um... You can get a pork where you break shit and it gives you... Health. Just very little. So it looks like, yeah, the pokes are mostly random. Uh, the wombs now are supposed to be generated, but I, uh, randomly generated, but I do see a lot of familiar between. Like, I've seen this big-ass womb a few times. And of course, like, uh, 
most dungeon crawling or rogue style games. You can find items in a lot of the shit you destroy. Uh, most of the maps I've seen are pretty small. Is that... Doesn't look like it. I've seen some uh, cracked walls you can destroy, so uh, put on the note that. Uh, this looks like this is more of a puzzle room. Now, I've seen there are some rooms where there are traps and puzzles. Hmm, that statue looks different. Hmm, I don't like the looks of this. Okay, it didn't collapse. I don't know why you would want to go down now. Got platforms. Now the pull key is uh, what you do to activate the boss. And uh, you can do the boss and still finish the level, kind of like uh, Binding Isaacs. Ooh. A mystery chest. These have uh, random stuff in it. Looks like I just mainly got uh, loot for experience. And there's a little wall. Now I've noticed uh, if it's one of bikes, you can see little chip parts come out of it. Now I don't know if there's always a secret one on every floor, or if it's uh, absolutely random. It's something to keep mind of. But yeah, I kind of don't like how you move really fast. When you do uh, aiming, you get a little bell, but... And uh, you do have other options. Um, like I turned... Motion blow off because it's a uh, whoa. I mean, just look at it. Oh man, that just that makes me dizzy. So, uh, I don't like that personally. If that's more your thing, you can. You also can uh, map all the controls, which is good. Sensitivity, uh, as you might notice, there is a little auto aim, which uh, that is on. You can turn that off, vibration, all that jazz. But uh, interesting in a console version, because this is the PS4 version, uh, you have um, field of view options, which I know uh, Toa Biscuit complains about a lot in. Uh, first person style game, so I'm sure he'll be happy about that. But uh, you can hide the interface, change the scaling and stuff like that. So you got some pretty good uh, options actually for a console version. And that lava room. I've seen uh, one room where it's like full lava and something at the end with a little platform, so uh, I really don't want to mess with something like that again. Because uh, the platforming in this is not very good. Huh. I'm not quite... Carrot Wayne. <laughs> now they're all. Is that doing something? No. Uh, they're all like law, and that, I guess that's what that was. Um, that's like maybe the second or third book or scroll thing I found. Now, I don't know if you can move any of the. Uh, and I do notice uh, you can clip through the walls when you do that. So, uh, let's see. It looks like probably gonna be minions. Minions. Now, a lot of the enemies I've seen are very projectile based, but uh, they're all ones that I think keeps moving. I'm at full health. Let's see. See, those are the breaking things now. That one would be nice. The 
biking one would be nice too, but uh, guaranteed uh, probably a larger amount of health with the wool, but I haven't personally had it yet. So far, i liking the game, though. It just, uh, I do feel like you move kind of fast in here. I, I want to show you the kind of funky, because, woo, it's like, damn, man, you, you should be in the Olympics, man. Woo! That is some fucking ass jump for a wizard, man. Now, uh, the first time I saw this game available was on GOG, is that, nah. Gotta get used to what the ones you can break. I've only found like three secret walls, so. But, um. And you can bring a big map. But most of the maps I've seen are small. It could be because of early floors. I've been to near the end of the second floor. Let's see. Just keep going to the big room here. I'd like to get some other magic here so we can uh, try out some other stuff because uh, there are different wands. Uh, the uh, first wands I got were in the third slot which are green type magic. Uh, a lot of them deal with rapid but I also found one that was like a shotgun so there were, there were multiple types. Oop, more minions. It looks like a small room. What is it? It's even behind me. Ah, mushrooms. Oop, it's up there. Oop, skeletons. I've seen them before too. Close it. Uh oh, apparently one behind me. Yeah, that's another thing I kind of don't like about some of the smaller wombs is some of the enemies spawn randomly around the womb and they can be in completely odd places. Now, luckily, sometimes you can break stuff and find health in that. Health seems pretty not too common now. So, it's best to look for ways to regain health. Nope, that don't look like one break. Yeah, this is like Dark Souls, what makes everything fucking look like there could be a door there. Yeah, that jump, bro. That jump. You should be in, in the Olympics, man. Wah! But overall, I'm liking it. I definitely recommend it. Um, if you want a physical console version, though, currently you can only get this uh, from Europe, though. Uh, there was not a physical version for America console-wise. Uh, this is on the PS4. I don't think it's on the Xbox One, but you can get it on PC, too, if that's more you think. So this is the boss. So let's see what we got. Oh, yes, I fought this guy before. I had a machine gun when I did it. <laughs> Not an actual machine gun, but... Oh, dear. Shitloads of health. And yeah, see, we can either progress forward or just call it a thing for uh, this. Let's go ahead and call it a thing. You'll get a basic score and everything going to what you do. There's also apparently like a very daily dungeon that's the same for everyone on each day. So, 